Tonight, the fate of Israeli hostages hangs in the balance four months after they were kidnapped by Hamas. As top White House officials continue to negotiate for their release, some tragic news that at least one in five are already dead. Here's national correspondent Christine Frizzell. Okay, thank you, everyone. On Capitol Hill, a reminder of the agony that remains reality for more than 100 families. She is our uh, sunshine. The parents of 23-year-old Romy Gonin joining other hostage families to ask for more to be done to bring them home, many revealing they've been kept in the dark by their own government. We don't know if our son is still alive. We, di we didn't get anything from the Israeli intelligence for more than 70 days. Lawmakers vowing to keep the pressure on. The hostages must be released. This week, a tragic revelation that of the 136 hostages still being held in Gaza, dozens are dead or feared dead. We've given information to 31 families of hostages who are no longer alive and we determined their death. The release of their remains and of the others is at the center of negotiations between Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the leaders of Qatar, Egypt, as well as Israel and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, a deal that reportedly includes a pause in the war the release of Israeli hostages and Palestinians held in Israeli jails, and the allowance that more food, water, medicine, and supplies be brought into Gaza. There is a, a lot of work to be done, but um, we are very much focused on uh, doing that work and um, hopefully being able to uh, resume the re release of hostages that was interrupted so many months ago. For now, that work will continue as Israel has just rejected the latest counteroffer from Hamas. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying there is no solution besides total victory, as many hostage families worry continued war means a diminished chance of their loved ones ever coming home. I'm Christine Frizzau reporting.